people do the weirdest things when they try to type in ancient Greek. And I am not going to judge. I have been there. Sometimes I have wanted to include some Greek text in the past and thought, like, oh, I'll just Google it, go to Perseus, copy paste it, or I'll go to one of those websites where you enter the text and use some um, punctuation and then it comes up as polytonic Greek. Now, to write classical Greek, there is a very easy way to learn quickly with your own keyboard. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how, so that by the end of today, you can type in ancient Greek as well. So the first thing you need to do is to enable ancient Greek in your computer, what we call the polytonic Greek. And this is how you do it. I'm going to share my screen with you here you are and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to go to my settings and i've prepped as if greek wasn't there in my computer so you can see it from scratch how it is done click on the settings and then within this oh, with the zoom now within the settings you go to time and language and within time and language you go to language and region once you're here, you will see a list of the languages that your computer has installed that will vary depending on where you are and what languages you speak. If Greek is not there, which it possibly will not be, if you've been doing the copy pasting and all the, all, all the very weird <laughs> methods to get your text on the screen, you go to add a language and search for Greek. So you'll need to go down quite a lot until you get the G. It's an absolute joy to see how many languages are available nowadays. Uh, so let's go all the way down to Greek. There you are. Hellenica. At this, po at this point, it's the same for modern Greek and for ancient Greek. You click on it, go for next. Please do not set it up as your Windows display language. You don't need that. And unless you want to practice your Greek so much that you want everything in Greek, yeah? So you just need the language pack, really. I'm going to install all of this. And as you see, it is now installing. Now, this is not the last step. Once it is installed, we need to make sure that we can use the polytonic keyboard. Now, once it has all downloaded, you can click on the three dots here for the menu and you click on language options. You will see your installed keyboards and the only one that will appear is Greek Elinica. This is for modern Greek. You want to add the keyboard and of all the different ones, Greek Polytonic appears at the end. So you add the Polytonic keyboard. And you are all set. Now you can go to Word and start typing. What I do before I start typing, and I do that with any language that doesn't have a checker, is I go to review here and you go to set profit languages and make sure that it says do not check spelling and grammar so that it leaves you alone. Now you're almost ready to start typing. But first, you need to change the keyboard. If you look at your language choices here, if it doesn't appear here, you can go through your search bar. You go to Greek and within Greek, you need to choose, look at that, Greek Polytonic. There we are. Now we're ready to write. I find that trial and error is what works best to learn what letters and uh, what accents are where. But you can also, if you go to the Wikipedia, have a very favorite page, which is this one. This was made by, uh, if you go to the bottom here, you can see it. Where is the name of the, but Wiki Belgian, yeah, the user. And you have a map of uh, Polytonic Greek. And this is where all the letters are. I will be talking you through it with my English keyboard. So you may need to adapt it to your own keyboard, but you can go to this Wikipedia page and um, find it yourself where things are. So we will start writing and I've chosen to write them to CD desk. Why not? Because it at the beginning of the um, 
the, the Peloponnesian War has quite a lot of uh, variety, so I thought it's perfect. Um, we'll start with the name Thucydides that we want to write. Now, interestingly, the theta, because the theta is already taken, is with the U, with the U. So what in my English keyboard is a U, I need to use the, um, to write the theta. Um, o, very straightforward. Upsilon is in the Y, which makes a lot of sense. K, straightforward. Iota, they all look like they're like that they're the equivalent. Yes, the eta, we need to use the H. Oh, I forgot the accent. There we go. The accent, as you can see in the map I've shown, and also I'm going to show a picture here. It's next to the L. And what I do, and you will see in the picture, is that initially I wrote some, um, I, I recommend people write with uh with the marker the 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 spirits and the and and the accents and the circumflex etc on your keyboard so you know where they are but you get used to it very quickly yeah to kitty this and the sigma is one that people get confused with quite quite often if you want to write a sigma for inside the word like this one you use the s but if you want to write a sigma at the end of the word you use the w very easy once you get used to it like you only need to fail two three times i would say if you really want to type in ancient greek take a book like i'm using this to see this you can see it there and just copy a full page by the time you've copied the full page you will be able to write in ancient greek this is true if there's something that you cannot find then write it here in the comments and i'll find it for you so um the spirits the breathings, as you call them in English, they're very straightforward as well. Where the at sign is, then you use the um, alt or not, depending you want if you want rough breathing or soft breathing. It is very, very straightforward. Now you come to the circumflex. This is right next to the B. As you can see, I'm going to show you um, some of the letters that can be a bit tricky and then I'll just write quite a long text and I'll put it at fast speed. So, for example, xinegrafe, I find that the xi is a bit tricky because it's not where you would expect it. It's in the letter J, not in the X, because the X is taken by the ki, which makes a lot of sense because they look very similar, even though, the, obviously, um, you already have the K taken, so that's how it works, yeah? So, xi, and then you get to the psi. The psi is a tricky one. You have it in the C. And you continue like this. Now, people ask things like, surely you can't write the more complicated words, like, I don't know, putting a rough breathing on a row. Yes, you can. You can write everything that's what I'm doing in this video. If you have a question about writing something, please ask in the comments and I will answer. Like, say, typical difficult word, radios. Uh, so you just go for the rough breathing on the at, you want to put an iota subscript, so you just click on the uppercase, the little sign next to the P, there you are. And then like this, and you're gonna say, no, surely you can't put, uh, you can make it, well, what if I have a circumflex and a, and, a, and a subscript? Yeah, you can do that as well. Uh, let me show you. So I imagine we want to write N and then a T. You put the tau and then you go to the alt gr and here we are -da! <laughs> any questions put them in the comments do subscribe if you like to see more of these videos and let me know what you like them to be about and if you want to do the same with latin it's even easier i have another video for that which is going to appear on the screen see you soon